That's... Kill the radio. Because I think we're going to take uh, this little thing, of which was 99 cents. I have a little plate that goes here, too. And uh, I don't need a 99 cent foam one. I think we're going to go to the Hanks and uh, cast one, do a lost foam casting in aluminum. It's not that big. I mean, it looks big because I'm close up, but back up. Just about the right size. Kind of creepy, huh? I like skulls. I mean, it's got to be the coolest shape going. Draw the line. Hold the line. What is it? Hold the line. I gotta put a, what do you call it, sprue? Yeah. Lost foam? Yeah. What if you find it? You yeah, mean when I open this, there's gonna be no foam in here? It's not lost if you found it. 99 cent skull? Turn it to a $40 piece of crap. $40 work of art. Piece of crap. Been uh, playing with the idea of uh, hidden hinges, but I don't have any space between the face of it and where the panel fits. So uh, this was an idea: reverse the hinge. It's a little three-dollar hinge. Actually, they were like nine bucks for two of them. What am I talking about? But um, this could actually work. If I beef this one up, it's only eighth inch. That little plate in there. Uh, they have nylon between them. I might have to grind the end of the pin and pop the pins out, take the nylon out, do any welding, and then put everything back together, you know what I mean? But uh, if I can keep these straight, top and bottom, which would be really easy compared to the other hinges, um, this should work. Now here's an original plate right here, and you can see, I can kind of see, it's like an eighth inch space. Mosquitoes are crazy out here tonight. Um, the garage is empty. The hunting rod sitting out there in the dark with the Jeep. Looks cool from here. But um, I'm just playing with the idea of hidden hinges because I'm sick of messing with those other ones. I tried and tried and tried and tried. It's not easy, guys. I I invite you to try. <laughs> it's not easy. Uh, I was considering using these and I'm like, you know what? They're so friggin' big. Let's let's try new. So. This is what I've been messing with. Now you wouldn't see anything but the hole and the piece of steel coming out. And of course these would go in the B pillar. But uh, I'm going to play with this for a while. See how it goes. Now there would be a piece that comes straight out off that and then a piece that comes up that would go to the door. So when you open the door, the whole thing would rip. Um, the backstop of course would be the face of it or the face of this depending on how far that piece of metal sticks out. Uh, I'm going to make everything oversized and uh, I still need to get that five, uh, was it three eighths gap between the plates no matter what, so. The bolt is of course temporary. It, it'll get in the way of the panel for the uh, firewall on the outside. Well, when, when this was inside against it, because this pin would actually be towards the side of the panel on the inside, and this would be part of the B pillar. Now I'm thinking about cutting a plate that goes over this with a three eighths bolt top and bottom and maybe connecting the two so they sit the top one and the bottom one so they stay uh, perfectly straight but some fun I looked at a bunch of them online and they're ridiculous in price so um, and they're actually they're three inch but <clears throat> 
Didn't take long. Little hand file, big hand file, cut in a half inch slot. I uh, used my little cutting stone, then I hand filed it square, and I made it so the hinge can go in upside down, so there's no real surface area being taken up. Almost nothing. This is actually going to be three and a quarter inches long, and I'm going to need four of them. Um, that's it. Uh, I went over Hanks. We were casting a uh, lost foam skull. I don't know if he finished it. I did pack it in and everything, and it's ready to go. I don't know if I'll use it on the hot rod, but I always wanted one. Um, it's pretty cool. We like doing uh, lumen casting, stuff like that. All right. Have a good night.